Hello guys, welcome to another video. In the previous video, we learned about a single line graph in origin. In this video, we will learn about multiple line graph in origin. So welcome to the Light Coach. So basically, we have the velocity. This is the x-axis, represents the x-coordinate. And the shear stress, this represents the y-coordinate. So we have different values of velocity and corresponding to that values we have the shear stress corresponding to different pipe diameters. This column co corresponds to pipe diameter of 10. So we will open origin now. So first you have to see that there are like two columns. So we need to add more columns. So go to columns here, add new columns. For the shortcut is control plus D. We need four more columns. Okay. Now we will just copy the data to this origin. So I have copied the values to origin. So we have an extra column. We will delete that first. Okay. So X is velocity. And for the Y x represents shear stress now we have edited our sheet so now we will plot so take all the columns so i have selected all the columns go to column uh, go to plot basic 2d so you have to select line plus symbol okay now we got our graph now so now we will edit the graph so we will uh, edit the x coordinate first so x coordinate is velocity uh, and the symbol will be u so we can make it italics okay now we need to specify the units similarly do for the y coordinate Suppose you want to add a symbol for shear stress, go to symbol map, the shortcut is control plus M and select the preferred symbol. And the unit is Newton per meter square. Okay. Now we will edit the graph. So the X axis is from uh, 0 to 11 with an increment of, we will change the increment to 1. Similarly for the vertical axis, it is 0 to 60 with an increment of 5. So you can see the change. Then we will add the borders. So getting the borders. One step is to go to the line and text, select the top. So just tick the uh, top line and text. Then you can have to select the major ticks and minor ticks. So select none. Similarly, go to the right right side and do the same. So that will act as a border. So now you got the border. So the next thing is to edit the line diagram. So you can see these are dependent. You can make it independent. Oh, and so you can change the size. So you can go for a dot type oh, and we'll change the width to two. And the simple sizes we can increase. We'll go for 12. So now you can see the symbols are big. So this is how you make a uh, multiple line graph in origin. So now the next step is to export the graph. To export the graph, go to file, export graph, open dialog. So change the image to PNG format. You can type a file name. So this is
this is a file name and then for the uh, margin control just go for tight fit and just click ok so this is a graph we obtained so thank you for watching this video i will see you in another video